Hey guys, how's it going? Well, I just got this in and this is a holster that I've wanted to collect for a long time. It's made by Safety Speed and this is a very, very nice one. And I also will talk about uh, this little setup here for the XDS 5000 in another video, so stay tuned for that. Uh, there's pros and cons to, uh, well, we'll get into that later. But this is what I want to center on. I collect safety speed gun leather. Adam 12 got me into this. And this is a beautiful basket weave safety speed rig it's got the swivel on it and one thing that is very rare I mean extremely rare is you can see how tight everything is motorcycle uh, police officers uh, use these in the uh, use these in the 70s all the way up uh, into the mid 80s You can see how the the leather wraps around literally wraps around the trigger guard I'm not 100% confident about the uh, Wearability of This rig because I've got you know, I collect these holsters and uh I just sold one. I hated to sell it. It was a basket weave and it was a high ride. And it was one that had a, a strap that went across and that's very, very nice. Uh, back in the 60s and 70s, kids used to go up and they would push this button. When they pushed the button, well, of course, you know, the holster would fly open. Uh, that was a problem. Uh, I've gone through that story before, but as you can see, this doesn't fit a Smith and Wesson. This fits a Colt Python, and it was made specifically for a Colt Python. This is an Airsoft. The reason this Airsoft is in here is because I want to see the kind of wear that this has before I put uh, a Colt in it. Uh, I can see a little bit of wear, but not much. But you can see the way it seats in here. And these clamshell holsters are steel lined on both sides. There's steel on this, on this, and steel on the back. It encases your gun in steel, is what it does. It's a, a really, really. It's got a strong spring on it. But what is really nice is they've molded this for the Colt Python. And this will also fit, you can even tell, all the way up. To the rear sides. Adjustable rear sides. You know, they've done a very good job with this. Uh, I don't know what, when this uh, holster was made, but I'm thinking it was in the probably 1970s, possibly 80s. It could have been back to the 50s, but I doubt it. Uh, I believe this is more of a 60s, 70s, and I don't think the 1980s. Uh, I don't think Safety Speed was really uh, putting this style of holster out back then. But this is a very, very cool holster, and it's so rare to get because most of the safety speed rigs were made for uh, Smith & Wesson uh, K-frames. My cat's trying to get into the picture. But uh, yeah, you just, what you do is when you want to get your gun out, you push that button like a switchblade, comes out and you can retrieve your weapon. Very, very nice. It's lined and it's just a really, really nice holster. I'm going to probably, I'll probably sell this rig and I'll probably part it out. 
Uh, I like to collect collect gun leather, and I'm partial to uh, gun leather as opposed to nylon and you know different uh, different variations on Kydex and uh, Acum mold and things like that. If it's not leather, I'm not interested. <laughs> uh, that that can be controversial, but. I really don't give a red rat's ass. I mean, it's just that simple. Uh, leather will outlive any other type of material. And this is all safety, all safety speed. The double dump pouches. I do have uh, speed loader pouches, which are on another rig that I thought I'd get out. Uh, if I can get it over here. This one I'm going to probably, probably sell soon because I like collecting them, but at the same time I don't like having them, uh, having them hanging around. I like to enjoy them and then pass them on. Uh, this is a double handcuff pouch and there's the speed loaders. These are actually HKS uh, speed loaders. And they're not bad. Uh, Safari Land made a push, a push speed loader. This is a twist, but it's called a six-second reload pouch, made by HKS. And the speed loaders are HKS, and they do fit the Python. This is a double. This is a safety speed, and this holds two sets. Uh, handcuffs in it for all you old schoolers and all old Barney Five guys. These handcuffs are very, uh, very nice, and they're they're vintage Smith and Wessons. Try and get some of the prints off of them. They're kind of hard to get. Uh, they're not that hard to get, but at the same time, the new Smith & Wessons, uh, they've got exposed rivets and, you know, the, they don't, the safety has been moved. Uh, I prefer these. I think they work better and they look better and, you know, they're, they're just, I think, cleaner, uh, cleaner cuffs. And actually they function better than the than the ones that they're putting out now. I don't like the ones that they're putting out now. These were good. They shouldn't have gotten rid of them. Uh, but anyway, uh, it's a pepper spray holder and the wool mag patch. Yeah, I'm going to probably let this go. That's for an asp. Uh, but this holster I'm going to hold on to for a little bit. I'm really, really glad to get this in. Let me turn it around and show you the back of it. As you can see, Safety Speed Leather, Montebello, California. They're mainly, uh, if I can get a, you can see, CPY4, Colt Python. Now, this will fit uh, the full underlug variations of a Smith & Wesson. I don't like, in fact, I think the one reason that they no longer make these is because it is dangerous to uh, you actually have to go through firearms training with the holster itself uh, you need training on the holster in order to use it in the field and that's even even up through the mid 80s uh, that was just required uh, you had to have training to be able to use this holster and it kind of went along with just with the firearms training, uh, but that's a really, really nice way to retrieve your handgun. And it's leather lined, and the, just the con construction of it is really, really good. I see very little 
wear marks. It's got the hinge that's lined. But to get this in a cool Python configuration was ultra rare. And yes, it did cost, you know, cost a pretty penny, but at the same time, uh, I wanted it. And uh, I don't run across these very often. It was priced decent. Uh, when I sell it, I'm not going to make a mint off of it, but I'm also going to make a little bit of profit off of it. And I don't collect anything that I can't make a profit off of. It makes no sense in the world to do that. And I just don't. That's just not the way that I uh, conduct my collections. If I can't, if it's not going to be worth something uh, down the line, I don't really want to invest in it. But gun leather, gun leather, I think is t it's timeless. Uh, you know, if something's going to fail on gun leather, it does it gradually. Uh, if something's going to fail on nylon, kydex, it's immediate. <laughs> and that's no good. And once it starts, you know, there's no stopping it. But gun leather, you know, it's just made so much better. I love leather holsters. I've always loved leather holsters. I've got cowboy rigs. I've got, you know, different variations uh, on different themes. I had a Barney Fife rig. Uh, and that was, that was a fun rig. But Safety Speed is just a really, really cool company and they popularized uh, this clamshell holster again it was used mainly for motorcycle officers uh, and the steel lining helped a lot of guess uh, in many cases but at the same time I think it's a very very cool holster 12 minutes in that's all the time I want to spend on it uh, guys, uh, if you're wondering about this, I'll get into it in another video. Uh, pros and cons with this. But we'll go over that in another radio-related video that I will probably upload right at the same time that this one comes out. I'm just going to hit and miss on it. Anyway, take it easy, guys, later on. Safety speed clamshell Colt Python holster. Fits a Sam Brown belt, two and a half inches. I believe that's what it is, or maybe it's two and a quarter. I forget. But very, very, very cool. The dump pouches. Uh, before I, before I go, the dump pouches that are here, they don't, they don't have. Uh, Bianchi actually came out with inserts, and I think Safari Land did too in the early 80s, late 70s, early 80s. Uh, plastic inserts to keep your your cartridges uh, from binding as you you know try to reload, and then they finally went to speed reloaders, speed loaders, and uh, got away from that, but. At the, at the time, uh, I've got one here that is actually a single dump. They made these hinged as well. But that's a single dump pouch. And, uh, see, is that one lined? No, it's just a real hard leather. But as leather does, you know, does give through time, uh, low rounds would bind uh, bind up and gravity would not do its thing uh, when people were trying to get their get their uh, gun reloaded so what they did was they put plastic inserts on the interior of these and they also came out with speed strips Bianchi did and the speed strips were so so not very good they weren't a very good uh, they weren't very good. I, I never liked them. Uh, I've used them. I use them now, you know, but at the same time, I'd rather use a speed loader any day. I mean, they just work so much better. But, yeah, whether, uh, I just want to check on the holster wear on this and see just how much 
where it's going to put on just the finish of the gun if there's any rough spots in it. But I was real glad to get that. And it's just a very cool holster for a very, very nice gun. Fits a diamond back, it'll fit a python. Anything with a full underlug, you know, it'll fit. It'll fit a Smith & Wesson. It'll fit a lot of different variations uh, of this type of a firearm. Cool pythons were, you know, were made very, uh, very well. And Smith & Wesson, I don't know uh, who followed who. You know, they kind of happened at the same time. But at the same time, very positive click, very good coverage for protection. It's not a level one, it's not a level two. Uh, you know, it's got its weak points, but at the same time, it's a classic old school holster. And for something like that, that's very, very cool. Take it easy, guys, later on.